minds this is Rajiv Patak and today I am going to tell you about assembly design followed by the DMU kinematic cellar skirt assembly design today I am going to show you how hydraulic cylinder actually works so we are going to bring a part here so this is my cylinder so how I am going to bring the part by going into existing component and then clicking on the product and then bringing the required part so this is the piston which i required now i'm using the manipulation tool to manipulate it yeah. okay now i'm using coincident constraint to make my design fit as per my required conditions put here minus x join this on this is an offset command which we are using now here below is a update button please click on update button it will get updated place the cylinder and the desired product as you want now bring the next product which is a hook it is here so okay so we need only a simple manipulation in this using manipulation toolbar so now again I am seeking for the coincident constraint it's the axial, axial coincidence constraint you can say we are coincidence in axis to axis so it is actually taking some time to figure it out but I got it now I am using contact constraint It is done again updated. So we got the design here. Even a little manipulation is required in this option. Rotation. condition with this okay it's updated yeah. so the required condition I got now I need to bring the base here so the same process we will use to bring the base it is here and the same way we are also going to manipulate it So I'm going to use my constraint, coincident constraint. Okay. Now I'm going to have the contact constraint. And the base contact constraint, which I'm going to the base of the hook and the top of the base. Click on update again, it is updated again. Now let's bring the next part which is a bolt. Open it. Oh. Firstly, let's hide this planes so we can see properly what actually is coming and what actually is going on. So we have bolts now. And let's again use our manipulation to bring these bolts to the action. These are okay. We actually use coincident constraint to make our axis align in the same direction of axis to axis. Yeah, I did it. 
right so this was our required assembly it's a hydraulic piston cylinder assembly now we are going to see how this actually works in DMU kinematic go on DMU digital mockup then in DMU kinematics now we are going to use various joints to make the movement I'll use a slim represent your screen in a mechanism in mechanism 1 whatever name you want to give click ok now it is asking for line 1 and line 2 actually it wants the x is the line which you will make in drive angle and line 3 when I want my cylinder to move backward and forward and also rotate so I use it please click ok now I want a joint is joint between the hook and the base ok now I want a rotation between the piston head and the hook so what I'm going to do I'm going to hide my bolts so I could get the axis also search for the second axis ok now it asks for the plane of this one and this one and I am not pretty sure about my assembly centered or not so I am going to use centered and then we'll do one and ok it will be in the assembly in the center if it's not now I am going to have a screw joint between this one our base and the bolt click on screw joint this is base bolt angle driven ok now let's give me the hook back now I am going to fix this product our mechanism can be simulated means how design can be work as you can see its mechanism so we are going to click simulation let's see I want the backward and forward motion of my piston so yeah it is going it is taking the base with it now I want the base to go downward so this is going downward also now I want the rotation of my piston it is rotated and again I want it it is fine now let's put an automatic insert then let's press it forward it is downward and then again the rotation and then again the downward motion it is clicking the wrong thing ok so let's see what we did so this was the required moment of my piston cylinder arrangement so i hope you liked and enjoyed my video so please do like and subscribe for more videos and update thank you very much